What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Naughty33 and this video is a vlog but it's also a very special video as I have just received my pre-order for my Xbox One X Scorpio edition. So this video is going to be a pure unboxing video and I'm going to take you guys through this. I'm very excited to get started with this so let's get on. Right, so I'm going to try my best to try and get this all in the same picture. Um, I'm using my phone today to record this, so do bear with me if the picture isn't too great or I'm a little bit too close. Um, but I've done my best as best as I can with what I have. So, like I say, we're going to crack on with this and get this box opened and see what's inside, because I reckon it's going to be absolutely amazing. So first things first, we'll get this damn tape off, because <laughs> it is like industrial. They don't want you to get into this. <laughs> Damn, I thought they said this was going to be lightweight. It weighs a ton. <laughs> Dear God. Alright, there's a bit of blurb, so I'd probably keep hold of that. Right, so here is the first look at the box, and I must admit, this is a very good looking box. I mean, obviously, compared to the uh, Xbox One when it first released with the green box, it's quite more sleek and stealthy. Obviously, like I say, this is the Scorpio Edition Xbox, it's a pre order. Um, so I do have like the um, the patterned controller and the patterned Xbox as well. I think it does come with the stand. Obviously for you guys that have pre-ordered a normal standard Xbox One, the stand comes separately, which I think is a bit of a rip-off, but you know, miss what Microsoft do. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so we're going to get into this box as quick as we can. Again, it's more tape. Someone else having a bad day packing too much stuff up. <laughs> um, how many pieces have we got on this? Just that bit. So, like I said, I don't want to open this up and make it all fall out. So what I'm going to do is very quickly just open it like this. So we have a box within a box. Um, what does this do? We have Xbox Live Gold. We have an Xbox Live Season Game Pass. So that's pretty decent. I'll get into those later. Because um, I just really want to see this console. <laughs> so, like I say, I think this is going to be the main console part itself, so I might leave that to last. And we'll have a look at the controller first. So I'm assuming this is probably the controller. Now I'm hoping there's going to be a lot less wires in this, because there are um, more stuff built into the console than the old consoles. So we have, first things first, as you can see, the box opens a bit awkwardly. Um, more information booklets that I probably won't read. Uh, this is the controller. And obviously you guys will probably know with this new console, we have the HDMI lead. Now the HDMI lead is quite important because of the fact it's a 4K HDMI lead. Um, so if you've got a 4K um, TV compatible, then you plug this wire into your Xbox One X and you plug it into your 4K TV and this gives you 4K picture. Now if you're like myself and you use a capture card to do all your stuff for YouTube, your 4K lead will go into your capture card, but then obviously because you're using the HDMI lead, you'll only get HD quality, not 4K quality recordings. The only way to get 4K quality is to have a 4K quality capable game capture card, and then have two 4K wires to get the picture out across into the game capture, um, and then you can post 4K. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this looks like, because I've just got, like I said, a new TV as well, so this is all going to look amazing. Um, the rest of the box is pretty much just empty, there's nothing else left inside here, so actually I think there's a little compartment with another wire in. Hang on, yep, we have the plug, I'm assuming for the console, obviously. Um, so I'll move that to one side. So, like I say, the controller, I'm looking forward to seeing what this controller looks like, because I have seen some pictures of this, but obviously in person, it's going to look much, much better, because the controller I'm using at the minute, as you guys have probably seen in my Instagram stuff, is this blue one. Uh, this was a 40 quid one that I bought off uh, Amazon, and it's very, very good. It's not a case or anything, it's literally a blue controller, um, and it's very, very nice. But, like I say, with this new controller, it has the pattern as the console does as well, um, and it should say Xbox One Scorpion Edition written on it somewhere, so we have... Yes, it's a very, very, very nice controller. I'm just trying to see my camera. <laughs> um, the light is a bit bad in here. I do apologise, guys. But just here on the centre, you can see it says Project Scorpio. I just want to see if I can get that into the camera. I'm not entirely sure if I can. Um, but you guys sort of can see the texture pattern onto it as well. And I think it's really, really cool. The buttons are blacked out. All the lights are blacked out. So I think it's going to be a really, really cool controller. Um, moving over to the rest of the bag, I assume it's just batteries for the controller, which it is which is very handy, and then that is it for the controller box with the season pass and the Xbox Live Gold inside. So now we move on to the main part. Now, <laughs> already I can see that this console is insanely small compared to the Xbox One original. Um, I just want to take the sides off of this. Actually, I'll take this little booklet bit off first. 
So I assume that is just packaging. I'm not entirely sure what's inside this. Have a quick look and see. Oh, okay, this is the stand. So that's pretty decent. Um, obviously, like I say, you guys that haven't got the Xbox One X Scorpio edition, you have to buy this stand separate. Um, it looks like quite a sturdy stand, so it should be okay. And obviously the console will just fit onto these bits and you stand it up inside these grooves and it is quite nice to have. I might stand it up, I might lay it down. I've had my consoles laid down for quite a while now and they seem to last longer, so I might not use the stand. Um, but we'll see, we'll see when I set it up. Um, so yeah, moving on to the last bit of the box, um, which is the main console. So we'll open this up, if we can. <laughs> I don't want to drop this. <laughs> That'd be catastrophic. <laughs> now you see, like I say, they have made this console a lot smaller, but it is so heavy. It's not lightweight in the slightest. <laughs> it weighs, it feels like a concrete slab. That's the only way to describe this. Um, but yeah, as you can see guys, this is so much smaller. I mean, this table usually, if I put an Xbox One normal console on this, or even an S, they uh, take up probably about this much of the table. So as you can see already, this is so much more compact and there's no power uh, like uh, power brick with this either. It's built into the console, which is really, really nice. Um, so we'll just get inside this, hopefully. I'll tell you what, the packaging is very, very good on this. And the console looks amazing. Obviously, it's not going to get picked up on the uh, ca camera properly, um, but the texture, the pattern on this is amazing. Now, as you can see, it does say uh, Project Scorpio on the top here. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that in the light, um, but like I said, this is a Project Scorpio edition console. So obviously, I think in the, I don't know if it's just the Scorpion consoles or all the Xbox One Xs, but inside on the motherboard, there's a picture of a Scorpion being ridden by Master Chief from Halo which I think is really, really cool. So if it's in the Scorpion editions, then it's amazing. If it's in all the condition, all the, um, all the consoles, it'd be pretty awesome as well. Um, but this console is insanely small. So obviously we have the front USB port and we have the uh, controller connecting button. We have whatever this is. I think it's just a random ticket. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's covering something up. Um, and then moving around to the rest of the console, like I say, you can see Basically, this enlarged grate, that's what the pattern looks like in close-up detail. So if you guys can sort of imagine this, but a lot smaller, that's what the console looks like. I mean, I can try and get it nice and close to the camera, um, but I'm not sure if the lighting can pick it up. Um, my lighting is pretty bad in here, I do apologise. <laughs> now, moving on to the back of the console. Like I say, this is a very, very heavy console for what it is. Um, obviously, you can see we've got the power, we've got the two HDMI leads, we've got the two USB ports, we have a audio out switch, another IF out switch, and we have the Ethernet cable. Um, connector and that's pretty much it for the back of the console. There's nowhere to put your connect in um, but I think you can buy an adapter that makes your uh, connect turn into a USB connection rather than the big brick thing they've got instead. Um, but yes, yeah, so like I say, this console looks really, really nice. Um, like I say, if I put the stand on, which I might do just to demonstrate it, I'll move this out of the way. Um, as far as I know, is literally just click onto this like so. I think it's the right way around. No, it's not. It's this way around. <laughs> Don't want to get that wrong. I think. Okay, I'm no expert, but that's not on. <laughs> okay, so what is happening here? So if I go like this, so I assume you slide it one way, which it doesn't seem to want to. There we go, we got it clicked. So when the console stands up, it looks like that. Now that is really really cool, I must admit. I'll try and get the camera to move around so you can see this. Um, I'm trying to set it up so you can see it properly. So as you can see, the console is a hell of a lot smaller than what it should be. Um, it's, it looks quite nice stood up to be fair. Like obviously the front is quite sleek. It has the CD drive at the top, which is really, really cool. Don't mind this, this is literally what I can balance my camera in because <laughs> I broke my stand. <laughs> um, yeah, like I say, this is where the CD drive is. I assume this is probably your eject button. I'm trying to get this as best as I can for you guys. Like I said, the lighting isn't too great in here. Um, so yeah, CD drive is just here. This is your eject button. And then down just a little bit further, you have the controller connection switch, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, it's just a very, very nice looking console. Like I say, the, the the team that have built this have done a very, very good job. I'm going to try and put this back into this pot now. <laughs> so I can just carry on like normal. Um, get that to move there. 
might have to do a little bit of editing for this. <laughs> but yeah, like I say guys, this is the Xbox One X. Now I will have some gameplay of this at some point. I will try and get 4K quality graphics out on my channel so you guys can see the comparison. I will be doing some comparisons as well between the normal Xbox and the Xbox One X. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I'll bring out some videos as soon as I can and I'll hopefully catch you in some live streams as well. So make sure if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.